Daniel, welcome to Happy Ending. Been a long day? Yeah, it's been proper long to be fair, but I'm glad we've got all this sorted now. Has it all happened quite quickly? Talk us through the, the sort of timeline of your day. Um, well, to be honest, I went into training this morning just to get my groin sorted and then I got the call and said, we're going to get the next flight up to Edinburgh. And then I things happened so fast and now I'm just delighted I'm here and delighted and looking forward to getting things started. You've arrived on the back of one of our regular centre-backs, Ryan Porteous, picking up a season-ending injury. It's obviously disappointing for Ryan, but an opportunity for you and obviously one that you didn't have to think too hard about accepting. Yes, it wasn't something I had to think too hard about at all. Hibernia, I know it's a big club and obviously I've done my research here and I think this is a big enough platform for me to come and try and show Scotland and Sheffield what I'm made of. You must get to a point, especially at a big club like Leicester, where there's almost a logjam of, of talent and you, you want to step beyond under-23 football and you, you've had a, a taste this season of the kind of check of trade stuff. Yeah. You must be desperate for that, a chance at senior football to, like you say, show what you're all about. Yeah, for me it's just been a long time coming. I've just been banging on, I want to play men's football, I want to get into the first team world. And obviously with the Checker Chase game, they the closest thing I had to it. And for me, when I got them games, I wanted to grasp it and I wanted to play. So this opportunity for me, I'm over the moon and I just can't wait to start. Yeah, the intensity of those games must be different from your, your average under-23 game. Yeah, the intensity is a lot different, it's a lot more physical. Obviously the tempo of the game and you have to manage the game properly. So like in the first 10, no messing around, then like the last 10. Lock up shop, play organised. It's, it's a good experience, I think. So for those of us that haven't seen you play, how would you describe your, your style and your, your attributes? I'd like to say um, old school and new school. So I know how to lock up shop and how to be aggressive. When everything in the air, don't, let, don't, don't give the forward a yard. But then again, with the new school, I can play out. I'd like to say I can use both of my feet. I'm versatile as I've been playing right back from my club as well as centre back. I like to say I'm quite dynamic. Okay, you've got a skip in, that was quite a good sales pitch. <laughs> you've had a, a really good upbringing in the game, obviously you've been at, at Leicester for a, a long time and even your, your godfather's Leicester City Royalty, talk to us about, about, about him. Yeah, obviously, you know, my godfather Emil Heskey, he's played for Leicester for a lot of years now and obviously when I come into Leicester I just wanted to do kind of the same thing as him. Him and my dad grew up together playing youth team football playing up front. It's funny enough, my dad's a centre forward and obviously I'm a centre back but I guess he just tells me what to do to annoy a forward and tells me the opposite stuff. But no, I just think it's good. As a kid defender then, were you in the park with your dad and Emil charging towards you? Is that what toughened you up? <laughs> I could say something like that but pretty more my dad. Me and my dad has always had that bond of, yeah, when I'm older I want to be a footballer and we've always just worked in it since I was young. You've had a great ground in as well with the, the England youth size, I think I'm right in saying, from under 16 to, to under 20, including the, the under 19s winning the Euros, alongside some, some pretty well-known players. I mean, what, what's that experience been like for you? That experience, I can't really, I can't question that really. That's an amazing experience. Obviously, with my England career in the under 19s, it was an up and down. I went in the squad, then I was pushing myself to get into the squad, then I got in. Then you have to go for like a trial basis where they decide you're going to pick the 19 for the Euros. Then I got in that. And then going to the tournament itself and obviously working hard with my teammates on and off the field. Then progressing into getting into the last 16 and then the quarterfinals and obviously winning it. It's amazing. I can't really, can't really talk anything about that. It's spectacular. What are the short term goals up here then? You ready to hit the ground running? Yeah, short term goals for me, I'd say I'd like to settle myself in, introduce myself to all the players. I just can't wait to get on the training field, to be honest. I just, you know, brush off all the cobwebs, you know, get started. But no, I just want to try and get as much game time as much as possible and just try and learn things while I'm out here and progress myself in the football industry.